welcome to the magic mirror as you can see today it's going to be about crash bandicoot that is one of my favorite games ever <laughs> so yeah this might take some time but it was out in 1996 uh, and it was like this <laughs> bandicoot stuff that came out and we were just like so surprised about this because like uh, we have seen other games that looked like this a uh, kind of sort of but we have never seen uh something like this actually ever but um i just really like the levels and the game design of this and of course i really did enjoy playing crash bandicoot we were actually really pretty good at this me and my brother uh even though like the first crash bandicoot was a little bit too hard for us uh, the sequel, the two and three, we completed that fully with 100% like all of the diamonds and all of the levels and everything and the boss battles was just so insane. Uh, I do remember some of the secrets from Crash Bandicoot 2 so I will talk a little bit about that like for example in the first level if you run through it without taking any boxes you will get the blue diamond. Uh, when you get further up on the platform there is a um, cute little uh, polar bear and if you jump on its head a lot of times you will get 99 lives. Um, there's also like when you get the diamonds uh, like the colored diamonds it will open up for new worlds or new areas that you can jump onto the <laughs> diamonds and stuff like that but there's also a level where you have to run from the boulder and when you go down or fall down <laughs> um, in the end or how to say that i actually feel like you're riding on your polar bear as well and like there's a boulder behind but in the end, before you go and complete the level, you can actually jump back onto a platform and that takes you to a secret level and those secret levels were just like really great. I remember like uh, opening up for secret levels on TNT cases where just like, I don't want to uh, be jumping onto TNT cases. I actually think it was nitro glycerin cases. And you're just like fearing for your life because you're just like, no way I'm going to jump onto <laughs> those nitro glycerin uh, cases or how to say that you're going to die. but yeah funny enough like it was all in this um that looked like a staircase and when you jump onto the top you will go to a secret level so i don't know if they still have that in the new insane trilogy but that was really something that was great to do i also remember some of the levels being easier than the others i was particularly really good at the riding levels so riding on the polar bear or riding onto the tiger like i remember figuring out that you have to hold in r2 or r1 button and then you can actually run faster that was pretty great and like it I had like insane times on there. I'm sorry that I didn't have any gameplay of it, but sadly our PlayStation is not working anymore and my save files are done. Uh, maybe one day when I get a PlayStation 4 and I get the Crash uh, Trilogy, I will kick your ass with their running on the uh, tiger. I will, I will be there because like that was something that was really good at. Um, something I do remember that was really hard for us was these like levels on ice and like the um, underground levels where it was uh, almost in a sewer or how to say that. Uh, later on there was also these futuristic levels that was really insanely hard. And of course you can unlock the really secret level that's insane hard. If you really want to be like almost torturing yourself, I, I really do believe like that is the hardest level ever in like in any game <laughs> anywhere like that level is just like something um, that's almost unbelievable that they have in there. But 
Um, I used a lot of hours on Crash Bandicoot and I remember getting the gems was so fun. Uh, especially um, like when you got all of the red gems or you got all of the colored ones. As I said, it opened up for new areas and new possibilities. There's also the bonus levels that was uh, also pretty fun. And nothing beats like getting three Ako Ako masks and just being invincible and running through everything. Like that was the greatest thing about this uh, game because like you are just like feeling like you have been through all of this so much so now you wanted to have a little bit of relief and getting three masks that was uh, something that was really great some of the levels i also remember is the ones where you have to find stuff in the dark um i actually remember i was also okay good at those but yeah that those were also really hard if you didn't have the light source or how to say that and I just think like they're so creative with the <laughs> monsters and the levels and like the things that are trying to kill you and especially the death animations for as I said the TNT cases the nitroglycerin or jumping into the water and it was too cold he was frozen solid and stuff like that uh, just just really insanely <laughs> the different kinds of things like that could happen to crash or you almost feel bad for him but yeah it was also pretty funny just to kill him off because like you had enough or something in those lines um something i do remember also was like the evil mask and the boss battle with him like that was one of the harder boss battles i do remember um from the newer trilogy and like i was just like oh this is so hard we're never going to complete this but one day my brother actually completed it and we were just like yes we finally got 100 percent and then the game was just like oh you need 105 percent and we were just like oh, okay like this is just going to go on for forever but when we got that and we blew up the a spaceship in the <laughs> atmosphere we were just like yes uh, this took forever but this was definitely something that was worth it and like um i just think like it has really good background story and then also have really great music it has like uh, good characters and it was some of the greatest time that i have like also when you complete a level and you for example get 100 percent uh, Crash will do this small dance and that's just really funny and something that I really did enjoy doing. Um, something I, I really am impressed by is seeing people like speedrun this because like I, I feel like the well getting the crosses for the running ones on the polar bear or on the tiger I could I could do that as well. But running through all of the other levels, especially the underwater levels or the, <laughs> as I said, like the future levels or in the sewer levels or how to say those, like those are pretty hard. And especially also the last one I was talking about, the secret unlocked um, really hard level. That was really insane. But yeah, I I will recommend that you go and try Crash and like i also really did enjoy the as i said the music and melodies and the sound of this game it's just like something that you can't forget especially with the boss battles uh, i still remember the tiktok boss or clock boss or what he's called when he uh, uses his staff against the ground the sound from that i still remember that <laughs> so yeah uh, I, I really do believe like the bosses has their own uniqueness and their own like uh, specific sound and you just know how you're going to defeat this boss after a couple of tries so yeah I, I really do believe like the <laughs> Crash was some of the greatest games that there is out there and still is I must admit I'm a little bit jealous of my brother that now has a PlayStation 4 and has the insane trilogy. But maybe one day I can go out there and I can uh, tape that I actually am really good at the 
running on the tiger's uh, level or riding on the tiger's level. But um, that was actually all for today for Crash Bandicoot. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, episode of the Magic Mirror. Sorry that there wasn't that much from uh, Crash 1 and the last Crash. But Crash 2 is just the one that I played a lot and I know a whole lot about. So yeah. But um, on Monday it's going to be Mario. So you have a great day. Do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and loved ones. And that's actually all. Yeah, okay. Bye.